it's another cold night here in England. It's been cloudy for the past few weeks, so there's been a little delay on the videos, but it's a clear night tonight. Let's shoot another galaxy. Towards the end of 2020, I made a video showing how to take a photo of Andromeda Galaxy without using a star tracker or any kind of stacking software. But in this video, we're going to be using a star tracker and a telephoto lens to take a much more detailed high resolution shot of a galaxy. So the video I made in 2020 was showing how to take a photo with nothing, just sort of the bare minimum, you know, a camera telephoto lens. But we're going to be using the Move Shoe Move Star Tracker, this beautiful, fantastic, portable, lightweight tracker, which can handle a telephoto lens like a 70 to 200 mil, absolutely no problem at all. Andromeda is about 2 million light years away and it's located currently somewhere up here in the night sky just in the western sky here. We should hopefully be able to get some nice exposure time in before it sets. This is another galaxy which is just such a beautiful target to try and shoot for uh, you know beginner astrophotographers like me. We had a look at the pinwheel galaxy a couple of weeks ago now we're going to be looking at Andromeda. I am looking forward to this one. I hope you enjoy. If you do please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. The galaxy sits in the constellation of Andromeda and it's named after the Greek mythological princess Andromeda. It's predicted in about 4.5 billion years that the Andromeda galaxy and our galaxy, the Milky Way, are going to collide. You know the deal, lens warmer is so important. It's going straight on. I mentioned how important the lens warmer is in quite a few of my videos because it's such a vital piece of equipment which stops the lens fogging up and dewing up during cold conditions. This is a prime example of what happens when you don't use a lens warmer, so this is a lesson learned. I need to get another one for this camera. I wasn't going to come back and do a voiceover here, but I noticed a really nice, bright and big shooting star in the top right corner of the screen now, if you have a look at it. I'm going to slow it down and play it again. You can see this beautiful tail as well that comes after the shooting star. It's pretty amazing. It's coming up to about 1am now. The camera has pretty much finished shooting, just looking straight down the lens there. I've had quite a few messages asking me about my equipment, uh, tripod, the star track I use. So I'm just gonna go into a little bit more detail about what I use. So tripod wise, I use the Manfrotto 055. I really like this tripod. I find it really easy to use. It's got a lot of features. There's, there's loads of things you can do with it. I think for a sturdy base, it's a really, really good tripod. Coming up from that, I have the Move Shoot Move wedge. Now this basically means I have quite a lot of control about where the star track goes I can get quite a precise uh, polar align with the laser basically means I can loosen off certain parts of it tighten it really dial in moving up from that we then have the star tracker itself this is the move shoot move star tracker I haven't really got anything too bad to say about the move shoot move it's really easy to set up portable lightweight star tracker I would say the only downside to this max weight is about 3 kg so it can't take long lenses I don't want to put too much torque on the actual gears inside the star tracker so I'm going to keep it at 200 which is no problem Moving up from the tracker, we have the Alan Wallace slash Move Shoot Move Z mount. Now this just helps to really reduce problems with the ball head over rotating and falling off. And for what it can do, it's a really, really sturdy and lightweight Z mount. Um, I'm really a big fan of that. Moving up, we have the Benro ball head. This Benro ball head is a sturdy and strong ball head and it, you know, it, it can hold the weight of my camera and the, and the body okay and the lens. Moving up, we have the Canon 70-70D body. This is the Canon 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. Uh, I think this is the Mark II, beautiful lens. And finally, the last piece of equipment that I have, this is the Kuru lens warmer. I've never had a problem with it and it's really easy to use. It's got a wide Velcro strap that you know can fit around the lens. This is not a sponsored video. This is not an ad, anything like that. It's just my personal equipment. So if you like what you see, go and check it out in the link below. Let's finish shooting Andromeda Galaxy. Mm -hmm. 